And likewise, in our text this morning, there's another celebration. Not only is there a celebration of a birthday, but it is celebrating the birth of Jesus. Now, may I add here parenthetically that in all probability, we, most likely this celebration did not take place on December 25th. We're pretty certain that Jesus was not born on December 25th. He was born during the time when Quirinius was the governor of Caesar, uh, the, the governor, uh, and he had, Quirinius was the governor of Syria, and he had issued uh, a census that people should come throughout the whole Roman world to pay taxes according to the book of Luke chapter 2. And so during the time people were going to pay their census, which uh, was, which in all probability, was not the time which Mary gives birth. Uh, she does not give birth December 25th. As a matter of fact, December 25th, according to Psalm, was a day that they celebrated other pagan holidays that had pagan overtones. Even the decorating of trees was borrowed from, adopted from a pagan celebration. And so some people say that to celebrate Christmas on December 25th or to have a tree is a celebration of paganism and that which is ungodly and that you shouldn't do that. And why are you doing that? Because he was not born on December 25th. Please understand that we don't want you to ever get so caught up in the technicalities of the celebration that you'd miss the essence of the celebration. Uh, we don't celebrate December 25th. We don't celebrate the fact that we think that was the day he was born. We also don't get caught up in trees or in presents. And we don't, because a lot of our holidays, a lot of things that we celebrate, you can attach it to something that was paganistic. It's the essence and the reason why we celebrate. As a matter of fact, let me suggest to you, I don't care if he was born on December 25th or do you remember the 21st day of September? It doesn't matter to me when he was born. The fact is that one day, y'all not feeling me here, he was born. And the fact that he enters into the world, oh my God, to be our Savior, our King, and our Lord. Many of us get so caught up in the technicalities that we miss the essence. It does not matter. Our salvation is not built on whether he was born in March or December. Y'all not feeling me. Our, 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 our salvation is not built on the fact if they had tinsels and light, our celebration is born on the fact that one day God said, y'all not feeling me here, uh, that I'm going to give you a son. For unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. And his name, y'all got the brakes on me here, shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, and the government. If this don't shout you right now, nothing will. And the government wouldn't be upon a fella's lace front, and the government wouldn't be upon people trying to do the tax codes over again, and the government was going to be on the shoulders of Jesus. That means even the government is stabilized by the Lord, who is our keeper and our king. Do I have a witness in here? 